There we go. That was a bit of a lag spark there. Well, the game was just thinking a lot of things there. So this has... Oh, wow. That has a lot of shock. Not necessarily that great in... Actually, if we compare to the spearmen that we have, but those have a total of 6 pips, this has 10. That is a massive increase. Especially for the shock. That's really good there. Alright then. And then, of course, the... Knight. We could go for the mounted archers to get some fire stuff. Yeah, it is a special unit. Um, there would be the Conduct Area Cavalry. Hold on, so that's... Total 11 pips. 6, so that's 10. And the mounted archers would be five, 10 pips. So Conduct Area Cavalry is technically the best one. Hmm. Uh, I think it's Italian. Because it is a uh, Genoese balisteriere. I'm assuming it's a special unit for like uh, people near Genoa. But yeah, no, that's a um, pretty good unit. I actually wonder, so Milan doesn't have those yet. Isa doesn't have those yet. And we got a unit with, or general with some siege pips and some shocks, so this might be actually one of our better options to buy a piece out soon. Unless there is a crossbow, why no fire? I don't know. Wait, are we actually that far ahead in Diplotech? Well, we'll see in a few moments. Although when I say that far ahead, we're probably not actually ahead of time anymore, but uh, we are about to get the next level again. To be fair, I'm somewhat tempted to take a couple loans. We should be able to pay those off relatively quickly. Uh, right, that wasn't actually the correct place to go. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, and there goes the taxes. Oh wow, we're in the negatives in terms of middle points now. So the attackers were actually quite significant. Interesting. Oh, next one is going to unlock a... Oh, what do we want to take? I mean, trade ideas is always nice. Um, we could take something from the military stuff, of course, as well. Maybe not naval ideas yet, we don't really have a navy. Quality ideas would be potentially good. General cost would, would go down, then infantry combat ability would go up, and at the end it does give the... Oh, it gives cavalry combat ability. Oh. It doesn't give discipline in this one. Are there any things that do give discipline at the end? There's any discipline... Oh, no, not there. And I don't see the... Discipline thing really anywhere else, do I? Hmm. But I mean, trade is always nice. But yeah, I suppose quality, because we don't have a lot of um, room for units yet, necessarily. So making our existing units as good as possible is smart. Of course, with the qu quantity or something like that, we could probably get more units. Oh, conquest against CNN. Right, and new papal or pope, and it's the papal states. Oh, right, there's a crusade against the Mamluks. Last until 1391. Ah. Um. So there's the government. Oh, um, Diplo 10 after 1420, that was 11, or Diplo 23 and 15 naval force limit, 1500 uh, naval materials cap, go for exploration. And then there's the naval, we're not going to grand fleet, naval quality, naval leadership. Oh. 
There's a quantity increase the grand or oh, quantity and standing army gives the grand army. Standing army quality gives the professional. Oh, professional army is probably where we will get discipline. Hmm. So what does the standing army give? It gives the movement speed, manpower recovery speed, national unrest, uh, reinforce speed. Uh, here the army professionalism and tradition decay. Manpower recruitment costs. Oh, manpower recruitment costs. So it's not even a unit recruitment cost. Interesting. The standing army might be pretty nice. Then over here, agrarian and industrial. I think that's like if you take one, you can't take the other, but that takes level 35. Or is it? Oh, yeah, it must be. Oh, <laughs> well, we don't have the aristocracy. We got the plutocracy, so we can't get the aristocracy. And. Hold on, admin ideas? Where is that on the list here? There. So if we got the admin tech 24, we're going to get the expansion ideas. Diplomacy ideas would give us the eminence influence, and so. To get the Empire ideas, I mean, I'm not entirely sure, well, actually, we can't get that one because we're plutocracy. Um, now, we might want to go for the Industrial Idea Group at some point, but there's there's a lot of Idea Groups to take, so we're not going to reach most of those anytime soon anyway. But yeah, there's a lot of good options there. I wonder, can we have more units? No. Well, I mean, technically we could recruit more, but I don't know if it's a good idea. I think... Has the building been completed in here yet? Uh, the demanded labour is going down. But I think we are actually doing alright in, in that regards. There's a lot of immigration going in here. So that's good. Now we got still an income of about 1.9 ducats per month. But I could afford... Oh, a new Pope, again. We could maybe afford uh, to take a couple loans to start building the harborage in here. To be fair, building two things at once may slow down both of them, because they are going to be competing for the labour force. Hmm. You know what, we're going to do it for science, nonetheless. I'll take three loans, have a bit of extra, and then let's go ahead and mark this as the province. And then build infrastructure. The harbour is by one ranks. Um, hmm. We cannot afford. Oh, bollocks! Needs a bit more. Okay, we'll take the fourth loan. So, construct that. There goes our money. Then we're going to deselect that. Right, so now they are going to be building two things. I mean, the harborage is not really listed, or the demands for that are not listed yet. I think it's going to take until the January to be updated on that. Then we're going to get our port in here, hopefully, to a certain degree. And then maybe start getting some naval materials. Although it might just be uh, how the industries work. Like, if you have industry creating naval materials, then you might be able to get a bit more than the 100. That's the base. We're improving relations with a lot of nations. Hmm, we can't claim Massa. I mean, basically there's not a lot of people that we can claim, other than, like, the pa um, papal vassals, which is probably not a smart idea. Or stuff from Aragon, which is a bit too strong for us, I reckon. They're also allied with Castile. Oh. Well. Oh, they're also allied with um, Aragon. Or uh, Arborea is allied with Aragon and Luca. They are in Trade League Ancona, Friuli. Oh, so it's Ancona? Hold on a minute. Leads Trade League with Friuli. Camarina, Arborea, Durazzo, and Urbino. Interesting. Hmm. I did not realize that. So paying off the loans is... Well, we are getting a bit of money here. Also, we've got a decent bit of... Uh, um, inflation in there. 
about uh, making sure yeah, no, that needs to wait until January to see if uh, those buildings are actually progressing or, or not. It will probably take some time still. Um, so Eclipse, Pisa, we got... Or oh, Insulted Arrival, so we still got 20 power production. Not great. It might just be enough. We've got 10 people in for this right now. And... Are we still getting the... No, we've lost that modifier again. I mean, we're still getting half of people influence point per year, but yeah, I think we may need to invest in the indulgence of sins. Although now it's 27 ducats, so we could do it now. I'm gonna wait a um, couple more months to see if the or maybe we wait for another year to see if the price goes up or if it, the price goes up every time till you buy it. Because that might be it. Right, we've still got a bit of um problem. Oh, wow. Yeah, they... Taxes actually are quite large still, in terms of monarch powers. Oh, right, the bank loans are actually lowering our... I think they are lowering our... Uh, Republican tradition a little bit, so maybe we should try paying off some of those. Maybe. Now, if we have a look at the dollars, so it may have gone down actually a little bit. But I don't have the money. Right. Oh, and there we go. We can get the next able tank. That increases our trade power again. Of course, it didn't unlock any new ships for us. Oh, we're gonna get some cannons in the next tech. Also, a bit more morale. I mean, the morale is still like uh, plus 1.2 from the tech, and the base is probably like 0.5 or something like that. Um, don't actually know. Oh, we got another election. Oh, wow. That's a 15 points. I think I want to go with that one. That is a good uh, amount of points in there. And a 10 per month right now, so that's actually, yeah, really good. I suppose, actually, oh, lose lips. Well, that's not good. Um, uh, we could keep the spy detection in there. I could try to take the. Ooh. Rate of power abroad, uh, commerce production inefficiency would go down. Looking. I think, yeah, we're going to get the trader in here. So you're part of the traders faction. Uh, that doesn't necessarily surprise me. So you're part of the trader faction, you're part of the alderman faction, and then bureaucrat faction. Wait, no. No, I think we got two advisors. Oh, and we just lost the stability because we recruited more advisors, I think. It's going a bit up and down. Plus, we could actually have a look at the stability in here. So, do we know? Oh no, we can't see it in there. I believe there was the event to check the stability. There used to be something like that, but... Oh wait, what's... Aha! Uh -huh. That's bureaucracy and stability. The next stability is... We're pretty close to getting back to the stability one. Yeah, the state has... all well, the ground lines actually... 
Oh, that's the pie chart of uh, resource, I believe. Yeah, resource share was that. Okay, so let's actually have a look at the wealth share. Oh, wow. The lower class is 1%. Aristocrats and... Well, Aristocrats is 26. Clergy has the most. Then is the Burgos. And the <laughs> state has nothing. Lovely. I suppose uh, the state doesn't really own those uh, stuff anyway. It does have a treasure rate, but it, uh, the same, it doesn't have the wealth in the same way. Because <laughs> they're too poor, the Pokemon doesn't have too much. Um, I don't know about that. Hmm. We don't have a lot of uh, aggressive expansion right now. I'm gonna move the army in here. If I was to declare war on you. Ado and Milan would join. Milan has 7,000 infantry and 1,000 cavalry, so they got a pretty large army. I could potentially get another infantry in here, another one of those Genoese units. If they try to get through there, they're going to have to siege that unless they go through Genoa, which I don't think they will. I'm just thinking here, like, uh, I could defeat the Pisa army quite easily. Then I'll just have to defend against the Milanese, probably. Or Milanese and the Paduans. But the Paduans are not really that big of a problem, I reckon. Yeah, taking Livorno would be... Oh, Livorno and Pisa. At least Livorno, maybe Pisa. Because, uh, oh wait, actually no, that doesn't have the port. And how are the buildings doing in here? Now oh, they need a lot of residents again. Oh, the amenities have been built. So we're going to have about 10,000 uh, urban residents now. Without penalties. Oh, that's good. So now just to get the harborage and then, yeah, things are looking good. We've got 6,000 men. Would that be enough? Oh. Right. What areas does Genoa want? Oh, they want Pisa as well. I can't give you that. I can't give that to Luca either, to be fair. I'm sure that they would want some land. Um, I well, can't really give any Milanese lands. Because they are landlocked. I think we're going to, well, we are already at January, so we're going to wait for this uh, round of, oh, did they just switch their army? Oh, and I press pause before it's done with the calculations. Alright, we might be stuck here for a little bit. I'm sure that it will be fine after a little while, but... Yeah, this will take a few moments. Um, total manpower is a bit low though, so this might be quite bad. Like we can have up to 8,700. We already got 6,000 in the army. We've got very little extra. Of course, the war is probably going to take a while. You are now tech level 7. Milan is 6. So we would have the better infantry. Against uh, at least Milanese. I'm going to have Livorno as the primary target. Because that's going to be easier to seize down. It'll be 14 talent men against my 6. Hmm. You know what? If I promise to look out land and don't give them land, they will break the alliance, which will allow me to then fight them off later. I'm going to play 4D chess here. We're going to have 8,000 men. Against their 14,000 men. Although the total manpower... Oh, right. So Milan has 8,000 deployed. Um, Padua has 3,000 deployed. And they got 4,000 reserves. And Pisa has 4,000 deployed and 1,000 reserves. So they actually have very little reserves. Hmm. 
All right, let's go. There we go. I'm just gonna consolidate the regiment, leave one of the 1,000 men armies here, get that siege down, and then I'm gonna send the siege general down here, siege down Peter. That should be all right. We do have, hmm. Wait, no. Should have chosen the other one. Oh, right, I can't send a spy there until 11th, okay. <laughs> he might be leaning after this warrior. Or if it is already leaning, it might be leaning a bit heavier. Who knows, maybe we can make money out of it later on. Okay, we can see the loot over there. Oh dear. Wait a minute. Oh, so you can get through there. Next question is, of course, oh dear, if they're going to get in here, I mean, we might still have the advantage in terms of troops. Yeah, they're going to be arriving in Luka, so we can get across there. Interesting, it just shows that it, you can't get through there, but maybe you can. Oh! Narrow straight or wasteland route across uh, Apennino Settentrionale, next to this province to Modena. Just down there in Ferrara. Okay. With, oh, Modena, right. Oh! Okay, they got 11,000 men there. Yeah, it's a mountain pass. Is there a mountain passes through here? Um, yeah, it's a Meglia, but that we already knew. Oh! Right, so this is actually not connected in here. Or maybe it is, but it just doesn't show it as such. But yeah, I can see Luca being a bit of a um, hinge here with the enemy army also. <laughs> since I don't have the unit, uh, m like, uh, addition mods here. Uh, some of these units are a bit larger than others. But it's not the size of your units, it's how you use them. Let's actually allow... ...the Lucans to attach to this army. Who is a Goliath. Exactly. We should be able to get this siege done faster than they do. Because they do not have siege pips, they have not blockaded the port. We haven't blockaded either, but we've got three siege pips, so this is going to be quite a bit easier for us, I reckon. Now, I do wonder, can we see their manpower through here? Manpower reserves of Mila, 8,000, okay. Yeah, we do have a breach, which certainly does help. Not going to be attacking through the breach, of course, but uh, yeah, it can be useful. And they're getting very bad rolls there. Not entirely sure. Well, yeah, we're getting slightly better at least. Line shortage. There's none. 14%. Oh, and stability increased. Excellent. We've got three loans. We could maybe pay off one of them. Although, I suppose we could just wait a little bit. Oh, they got a breach now. The defender's deserting. And it's going to be neck to neck. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure that we'll go at least to 21% before we win this siege. And they'll probably get theirs at 14. This is going to be a close one. Unless we get a water shortage right now. Well, a supply shortage at least, so we have a chance. But they also got supply shortage. Actually, which one of these takes longer? They got 31 days. We got 25 days, so we got more frequent uh, siege ticks. Okay, this is helpful. Water shortage, okay, 28%. And status quo. Oh, excellent. This is the distance that we needed for the siege. Now right, we can recall that diplomat. On defenders, it says 42%. They're going to get one tick over there, but it's not going to be enough to get into actual 
Oh, they got a wall bridge. Oh dear, that's bad. 